we are on our way to the smog shop. We're going to try and smog the green truck that has the uh, 5.3 swap going on. Um, I feel like it could go either way. Because, I mean, it's a newer engine, but I th you know, the problem I see is that the vents aren't going to match on the truck and the computer. I don't know if they checked that or not. We're going to find out. A smog in Nevada is pretty cheap. They're, all, they're like 20 to 30 bucks, depending on where you go. So if it fails, not a huge deal. At least I can find out what we need exactly. So uh, wish me luck, fellas. We're all good, fellas. She passed. Here we go. Now, I was kind of just doing this as a courtesy to the next person that bought it because I didn't want to sell it and then them have problems you know, trying to smog it. Um, the smog is good for, I believe, like 90 days or something. So you know, whoever does buy it, if, I've, if they buy it within the 90 days, register within those 90 days or whatever, then they're good. But at least we, and even though, or even now, we know that it'll pass no matter what. That is a huge relief. That was the only thing I was worried about with this thing. Not that it's like a crazy build. I mean, it's, to me, I feel like it's compliant. It's got a, you know, a catalytic converter and all that. So I don't know what the deal would be. But uh, anyway, now we're gonna go to my buddy Greg's house. Uh, we got some cool stuff to do with the steering wheel out of my new Duramax. I'll show you that once we get there. So real quick, I guess I'll tell you what we're doing. Um, my Duramax has the steering wheel controls, the buttons on it. And I will give full credit to Greg because he already did it to his truck, so he's going to help me do it to his. Or, uh, sorry, he did it to his, he's going to help me do it to mine. You take out the factory white you know, lights in the inside the buttons, which mine are all burned out anyway. And my buttons were in terrible shape, so I actually bought not new but used ones in good shape so we're taking those out we're gonna put red leds in there so it's gonna look pretty cool i got a whole package of them so we'll end up doing like all the controls inside of the truck eventually like the door switches the hvac all that but for now we're just doing this and uh it, you know good time to do it because because i have the steering wheel off like like i told you mine was in not very good shape he got a grant steering wheel on his truck gave me his old one his old one's in a lot better shape than mine was so we're going to put it all together and i'll show you I'll probably show you us doing a little bit of it and then bring it back to the house put it back on the duramax we'll show you and also you know i'm so excited this thing passed smog i was worried i knew it could go either way because it is a newer engine it's got emissions on the exhaust and everything so it's not like a straight pipe or nothing it's a more efficient engine but you just know how you know the government is they they don't want you messing with anything or the epa i guess they don't they want you to leave it alone even though it's a better engine i don't, I don't know why but they probably throw a fit but anyway it's, it's all good it runs fantastic we got a decent set of tires on it now it's 100 percent for sale it'll be taking some photos and listing it so i mean if you want it and you're in the area you better hit me up quick because i don't think it's going to last long Everything all finished up. Didn't really film much because I was kind of watching to see how to do it. So next time I can just do it myself. What we ended up doing was taking those switches apart and then, uh, you know, soldering in new LEDs, the red ones. I think I said that earlier. If not, anyway. But uh, Greg's got all this extra Duramax parts, so he gave me, well, let's let me borrow like a core charge basically. I'm gonna powder coat that, it's a diff cover. I'm gonna powder coat it from the guy in my last video, Project Cars, or C dot, A dot, R dot, S dot. Uh, powder coated the stubby antenna. He said he'd powder coat the diff cover for me. So that's great, definitely go check him out. Um, go ahead over to his house later today. You might be getting his LS swap going, so that's pretty cool, that's always exciting. I remember how I felt when I got this truck going. It was huge huge accomplishment like it's hard it's hard to describe that feeling and today it was kind of the same feeling maybe not quite as exciting but a little bit less but got getting that smog passing smog that's that was a huge weight off my chest now I, that was the only thing i was concerned about now it's all done everything functions the guy asked me he goes does the uh does the data link work you know the uh data to the computer so oh yeah it works i tied it in the canvas or whatever it's called yeah, the check engine line, everything works on this. It's all functional. The only thing that doesn't work is the freaking fuel gauge, which I'm going to try and get it fixed before I sell it. I'm hoping that maybe we talk to a couple guys on some forums who they can get it to work. But uh, yeah, either way. So 
I'm not at all sure if the camera's gonna pick this up. It's kind of dark, but usually it comes through a little better than the screen, but I keep saying but. So I went with red because uh, my friend Greg did. And uh, that's not the only reason why. The only reason, or his reasoning was they're not too bright and overpowering, but you can see them when you look down at them. So I like it. Eventually, do all the buttons in the truck, all the you know the light switches and HVAC controls. You can see only the two high lights up on the four-wheel drive thing. The four high and four low do not. So some things, some of these are burned out down here. We'll show it in the daylight next, or maybe before this, I'm not sure. I just got to get this while it's dark. So as you guys can see, it got dark last night and kind of wrapped it up for the for the day. And now we got snow, unfortunately. It didn't snow very much, but now it's really cold, so it's really slick out. I'll show you the steering wheel, I guess. Not really much to it. I'm gonna get the snow off first. So it has not been detailed yet. I know I didn't want to show you guys the interior. It's not a bad truck. I mean, this is the only tear in the seat. All the other seats are in good condition. Nothing's really broke, but like I was saying, the steering wheel, like these parts right here, were not in good shape. This is a, a different one. I bought new buttons because they were all worn out. I showed you last night, we put the red LEDs in them. I do plan on doing like everything because like these bulbs are all burned out. I'll do the switches and the HVAC controls and all that. But yeah, I think it turned out good. It's not an aftermarket steering wheel, it's just one that was in better shape than mine. You know, it's the little things. And I say it's missing these pieces, which is pretty common. Missing the cigarette lighter. But overall, it's a very clean truck for the mileage, which isn't even that high. Um, it does have 180,000. I'm not too worried about it. I know some people probably lose their minds, but these trucks are awesome. Uh, there's tons of guys that make it over three or 400,000 miles with them, so. so. Since it's cold and snowy today, it's probably all we're gonna do. Um, if you guys are interested in those LEDs, I'll, I can put a link in the description. Um, don't They sell a kit just for the steering wheel, and it's only eight bulbs. It's the same price as these. You just get the three millimeter ones, whatever color you want. You get 20 for the same price, so. Yeah, I'll put the link in the description. It's an eBay thing, so it may or may not be there. It depends on how he relists it. Really excited, the green truck passed smog. It is for sale. Um, I have it posted, so if you're in the area and want to take a look at it, you know, I'm in Reno. You know, hit me up on Instagram. It's in the Switchless 6.0. <clears throat> Waiting for a nice day to put this bad boy on, the new truck. Have the full, I mean, you know what that is. We also have the downpipe. Do the whole thing at once. And then once we sell the screen truck, that just means we can move forward with the Yukon. If you guys don't know, I have a 99 Yukon, blown engine, pulled it out, got rid of it. Ready for an LS swap. It's very clean, has high mileage, but it is stupid clean. So we're gonna give it the engine it deserves and then sell it as well. Thank you guys for stopping in. Take care. I'll see you guys next time. Diesel life. Now I can already hear people saying they're gonna comment. It's a POS because it won't start unless you plug it in. And to them, I will say it'll start just fine, but why not let it warm up a little bit and help it make it last longer. money.